Hey guys, so this will be my first video for 2012, and for this I figure I'll do an anime collection update for you guys. So uh, let's start off with Samurai Champloo. I bought the uh, Blu-ray version to replace my old DVD version. This, uh, the original version that I had is the thin pack, and the new one is um, the out of print Blu-ray version released by Funimation. Now. Um, if you want to get this on Blu-ray, they have also re-released a um, this series as an anime classic, which I actually do not like. I like the artwork on this more. The color scheme I really like, and I love what, how they um, made the disc look. It's really clever and it goes really well with this series. All right, so I also picked up one of my all-time favorite anime, Rose and Maiden, season one and season two. I already own Rose and Maiden, but um, I wanted to repurchase the um, box sets here because the older box set that I have, as you can see, there's the limited edition box set. It takes up a lot more space, and I am trying to um, make more room for my shelf since I am running out of space. Um, I absolutely love the uh, Season 1 box set artwork here, and uh, all of these box sets are out of print. However, since Time Filmwork, they have re licensed this series recently and they have re released a complete box set if you're interested in buying this series. I highly recommend it because I really love Frozen Maiden. Now, um, for the Season 2 box set, it is different from Season 1. Um, it does not come in thin packs, but uh, a standard DVD, standard 4 disc DVD case. However, they only included three DVDs, which is kind of weird. And I also picked up Ghost Hound. This is the completed collection. Um, the re-release from Sentai Filmworks, so this includes an English dub. This was on sale on Right Stuff during the um, holiday sale that they were having, so it was pretty cheap, so I picked it up. I also picked up Brighter Than the Dawning Blue, also during the holiday sale, so this was pretty cheap. I think it was only $20, so um, I had to pick it up because I really like Sentime Filmworks releases. And another Sentime Filmwork release, Eleven Eyes, I picked up as well during the um, holiday sale for $20. Alright, so I also picked up a Chinese Ghost Story. This uh, movie is out of print. It was released by Pioneer and it is one of my favorite movie when I was a, a child. Um, this is not Japanese, it was released in China and it includes Mandarin and Cantonese as well as the English dub. Right, so I also went ahead and ordered the um, remaining volumes for Pokemon Advance Challenge. And most of these volumes I order off of rightstuff.com and um, they were taking a while to get some of the volumes so I went ahead and ordered some of them on eBay but now I have the um, season completed along with this season I have completed my entire Pokemon collection so I have all the uh, seasons that was released on DVD uh, up to date because Pokemon is still ongoing so uh, I'm just waiting for the newer box sets to be released and I'm going to buy them each time when they release. Uh, I think the only thing I'm missing is the um, Mewtwo Return TV Special or movie, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I'll be getting that soon, so once I have that I'll complete my Pokemon collection. But anyways, I also picked up Heaven Lost Property. This is the limited edition. Uh, that was released by uh, Funimation. I really like the art box. And it's a really funny show. I've seen, I think, three or four episodes so far. And um, it's really perverted but really funny. Alright, so I believe this is only uh, season one because season two is coming out in a few months and I have already pre ordered that on Amazon. And I would recommend this series for those who like fan service. Um, if you're not a big fan of that, then I wouldn't really recommend this because some of the scenes are pretty perverted. And as you can see from the art and all that stuff, it's pretty perverted. 
Alright, so I also picked up the final box set for Revolutionary Girl Utena. Um, I ordered this off of Right Stuff, and I believe if you order all three box sets from Right Stuff, um, it doesn't have to be at once, uh, but if you order it from them, they would include a replica ring, the one that Utena wears in the show, which is really awesome. Alright, so uh, I also picked up Deers. This is the um, completed box set um, released by Jenny on. This is out of print and it is a little bit pricey. I managed to get mine for only $40, so that was pretty good because these box sets sell for over $100. Um, I don't know anything too much about the show, I just know that this is also a fan service show. Alright, guys, so I also picked up. Panoria Agent, I believe that's how you pronounce it, and um, this box set is out of print and can be uh, pretty expensive to buy. I've seen some of the sets go as high as 300 but I got this from the same seller, so I also got it for $40, which is really good. Alright, so um, the last DVD that I have to show you is my uh, Ninja Scroll, the TV series, and I got the limited edition um, box set, so it comes with a metal tint and it, this is a digipack release it also comes with a figurine which I'll show you at the end um, but I seen this or I've seen the movie a really long time ago as a kid which I wouldn't recommend you showing your kids because it's pretty violent but um, I remember that I really liked it it's really awesome I love the fighting scenes um, I heard that the TV series is not as good as the movie, but um, I'll be the judge of that, I guess, when I watch this. Um, I will be ordering the movie as well. Um, I'm still debating if I want the special edition or the regular edition. But um, anyways, I hope you enjoy this uh, little anime collection update, and make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.